Mick tied up, and he goes for the big hit and able to staple his man. That's Kyle Young, but not out right away for Canmore. Now Reshney turns and fires. Far down, he scores! Austin Reshney on a turnover by Canmore. And two minutes and 18 seconds into the first. I don't know if that switched directions on Proctor Ramirez. He went to blocker it. A chance, though. Blaszewski to the forehand. At least tried to, but McNaughton able to turn that away. And a good touch pass by Singleton. He'll find the speedy Carter Mass here down the left wing boards. He turns and fires. Good blocker safe. Singleton falls up. Bouncing puck. It's in the net. They score! Bowden Singleton has been snake bitten of late. A couple of posts here and there, but that one kind of goes off his body on the initial shot. And it's now 2 0. They don't ask you how, they just ask you how many. Two Oilers going to the net. Here comes Singleton late. Just coming in, so he's 30 out of 40, I like to call. Now Singleton will chip it ahead. Breakaway from Assier. Looking for the goal, top shelf. He scores! Carter Mass here and Bowden Singleton in synchronization. 3 0. I didn't think they would keep this line together for very long, but these two kids, Singleton and Mass here, are working phenomenally together. They lead 3 0 on Canmore, and we've got a goaltending change in Matthew Malin, but here's a centering feed. Young scores! Yes, sir, as the Oilers let off Nick Wolfenberg. The big bad wolf has some room, and he's got some charge. Trying to cut inside, backhand! And Malin gets tied up, and then he's Yoder now. He turns off. Now a one-timer chance. McCray! Bar down, I thought that might have gone in. Take it back, and Singleton waits, and he'll sift it ahead for Jamrick. Touches ahead, could be a 2-1. Jamrick trying to cut into a partial break, and couldn't get a shot away in the... Weller, he's turned back, and now Wolfenberg, maybe with another late push for the Oilers. He waits and drops off for Lorenz. Gets to the slot, shot, scores! And the hits keep on coming. Rieger Lorenz is 31st of the season. Beats Mail on the low blocker side. Maybe handcuffed the goaltender. It's 4-1. Yeah, that's a killer, especially after... Uh, Knocked down. Here's a partial break chance. Singleton for two. Not this time as Malin had it stopped. And that's taken away by Canmore, but the Oilers keep the pressure on. Here's a quick feed. Boyle trying to go to Yoder. Knocked down, but now Wolfenberg cuts and Malin the save and the puck. Here's the Oilers once more. Reshney touch pass for Singleton. Two on one with Massier. Keeps now to Massier. Back door. What a save made by Malin. Easy second period for Mark Frank. But now here's a stretch pass. Jones with some time. Onto the forehand of Gage McNaughton and just got a piece of the post. More players come back, and now he's just going to prove it a little bit more. Had a goal against Camrose, but now here's McCray. Great individual effort, and he scores! <laughs> Off the faceoff win of Nolan Flint. Tucker McCray, the nicest goal he's ever scored as an Okotoks Oiler. 5-1, thanks to number five. Yeah, and he's probably going to tell Wolfenberg, Here, here's how you do it. Uh, but you know what? There he is with the puck. He beats one Canmore player. He beats another Canmore player. Free and stick of Carter Massier. And then McCray bulldozes Owen Jones in, but they're going to... Revenge on Monette, but now to the neutral zone as Jammernick and gets caught up with Sam McPeak. And Jammernick's stick went flying, and he's a little banged up. But again, they... Uh you know, sometimes it just doesn't work. Off the face off, and here's a shorthanded chance, and Boyle might have a break to it. He's got a shorthanded goal this year. Waits now trying to cut inside a mail and a chance. Scores! There's number six, and there's the second shorthanded goal of the season for Brendan Boyle. 6 1. Um, Biddick is sort of looking at this goaltender and said, You should have had that. And the goaltender probably thinking, how did you let him come into the middle like that? And two on one, pinching. Almost got caught. Here's a chance for Hudson, but blocked. Now another chance. Back door scores. And that's going to be some anger on the Oiler bench. As we're going to have a fight. Here we go. Kale Lyons, a 20-year-old versus a 17-year-old. Let's see how they come out here. As Lyons gets a couple hard right hands in on Newman, taking the worst of it. As Lyons has had a long night too. And Couple of right hands from Lyons as Newman trying to come back and stays in. He got decked a couple times, but Newman comes back with a couple of rights as well. Staying on their feet and 
Lyons has got the haymakers going in his department. He's got the reach too and comes up and down and Newman stays in it. They're going to let him keep going here. Good little tilt between these two as Lyons fires a couple more and they get tied up and now another hard crushing right hand by Newman and Lyons and that gonna, was an old time hockey fight. You're going to like that one. I start looking down and start throwing punches. You're in big, big trouble because then the undercuts. And right there was the only time Newman did. And they just went fist to fist. And oh, boy, we got some more pushing and shoving right at front of the bench. And everybody's grabbing a partner as Reshney gets involved with Hudson. The county's in and well. We got Jammernick over top as well. He was spoiling for a fight last time. And some more shoving as Hudson gets involved with Reshney. The county and Jammernick get involved. And now a little vim and vigor. And Reshney has not let go of Dylan Hudson as they're just now wrestling on the Carter Mass here. But now a shorthanded chance. Here's Hellier dropping off Mass here. He's got an open break. Looking for two. Stop. Hellier backhand. Two amazing saves by Malin. Looking for another goal on the night. Now Pluszewski gets the feed from McCray, but it finds Mass here. He's got some speed. He's trying to squeeze out of the way, has some room. Now turns and fires, scores! Two for Carter Mass here, 7-2. He's had a great game, and he's getting better and better and better as he plays since he's been out for so long. He comes down the wing. Malin? Leaves it off for Dre Gardner. And oh. they bounce it off, it's an old goal! Oh no! That's a Steve Smith! That's the first thing I thought of. So, okay. Ah, uh, poor kid, oh, you know boy. he feels bad. You know Malin let that goal in, he just said, yeah, it went in. Patted his defenseman on the back. Said, don't worry about it, buddy. So I Jones think with some late time offensively, one on one with McCray, and he gets bumped. And then Jones just- Where's the hard? Hot damn! The Okotoks Oilers win their sixth straight on home ice by a score of eight to two and are four games above 500 for the first time this season and are now 24, 20 and two.